Hi, this is Ogi with 4kshooters.net and in this video I want to share my experience using a single lens to shoot an indie feature film. Recently I was a second AC on an indie feature film shot in Eastern Europe on the Canon C300 Mark II and the Sigma 18-35 T2 high speed cine zoom. But for this feature film we needed a proper cine lens that would give us a really good balance between size, weight, range, image quality and the one that also had proper cine gears for a follow focus. Oh, and it also needed to be in the Canon EF mount. I'm a huge fan of this lens. I love the way it's built. This is a solid metal body design with a 95 millimeter front and an 82 millimeter filter thread. Uh, we used a Vocus matte box, a compact one. I think it's the MB255 model, uh, which has a couple of 4x4 filter trays. So the 95 millimeter front, which is pretty much a standard size, made it really easy for us to work with this lightweight matte. The maximum aperture of this lens is T2, which is quite lovely, quite nice. That's a fast lens. Uh, it allowed us to uh, shoot in some really kind of low light uh, situations. And and also the minimum focus distance is just 11 inches. Uh, it was also very useful uh, since we uh, often had to shoot in very tight spaces. This also allowed us to kind of get really close to the actors. The gear rings were smooth and the 180 degree focus throw made it easy for our focus puller to nail focus. The included uh, lens foot is also very handy. Uh, it has a couple of quarter 20 holes. Uh, this made it really easy for me to uh, mount the lens to a 15 mm uh, bar support and also get a more rigid support for the lens to ensure that the, the, the lens would move when we were pulling focus or anything like that. The lens has a sealed back uh, to prevent uh, dust and moisture from getting in, uh, which was also another huge plus uh, since we shot in some pretty dusty places. The EF mount version here has another advantage uh, as the lens mount uh, has electronic pins on the back which displays the um, aperture in the viewfinder of the camera. That makes it uh, easy for the DP to kind of see what aperture we're shooting at. Just like any lens, uh, there's a few things which, despite not being huge downsides, are worth mentioning. This is not a full-frame lens. It has been designed for Super 35mm sensors. Uh, but instead of a downside or a limitation, I'll just call it an FYI. This is also not a par focal lens, so your focus will drift during a zoom. For this shoot, this was not an issue as the DP made a decision not to use any zooms uh, at all. So we basically used this lens as a variable prime. The image quality is absolutely stunning and I do wish that I could show you uh, some footage from the film but at the moment I just don't have permission to do so. The film's not finished yet, the director and the editor are still cutting the film. Uh, however, I do hope that uh, in the next month or two uh, that th there will be a teaser trailer that I will uh, be sure to include a link to in the description below. I did however shoot the majority of my Teradek Bolt 500 LT review on the Sigma 18-35 uh, T2 uh, which uh, you can see to kind of get an idea of image quality. This is such a lovely lens that gave us the best combination of compact size, image quality and cinema grade ergonomics and I wouldn't hesitate to recommend it to anyone for any project be it a corporate gig, a music video, a commercial or a feature film. I hope you found this video useful and for those of you who want to read a bit more do check out the blog post that I wrote over at 4 and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.